Hello friends and thank you for your interest in this topic and for checking into this video. And in this uh, presentation, I'll talk about uh, hope spots. Okay. So yes, hope spots, not hot spots. All right. However, the concept and the purpose uh, between these two are almost similar. Okay. And to take you along the journey of these discussions and um, for easy understanding, first, let us see what is a uh, hotspots. Okay. Now, biodiversity hotspots are those area which have high uh, species richness. Okay. And are also which endemism is high and are under constant threat. So in short, we have just seen what is a hotspot. Now let's see what are hope spots. Okay. So putting hope spots in my own words and understanding, uh, I'll say a hope spots are the hot spots in the oceans. Okay. So now I think we all uh, we all know that uh, our ocean constitute about seventy one percent of the Earth's surface, and of which land constitute only twenty nine percent. So you can imagine how vast the ocean is, and its role in uh, stabilizing the structure and function of the planet Earth. Okay, so our ocean has provided us actually a innumerable tangible and intangible, intangible, intangible benefits, such as food resources, source of oil and natural gas, mineral sources, shipping, uh, tourism, carbon sequestration, en energy resources, to name a few. Okay. However, we are not only extracting resources from the ocean, but we actually also dumping our waste, which are generated from various sources into the ocean. And the various actions of mankind have continuously polluted, polluting our ocean and consequently disrupting and destroying the ecosystem of the ocean okay so as per the united nations report they say that uh, 60 percent of the marine ecosystem is degraded so with this background okay with this background and without doubt i i think you are aware now that mankind is destroying activity a mankind activity a man uh, human activities actually just to say is destroying and depleting both land and the ocean resources therefore people who cares such as the scientists ocean explorer conserv conservationists environmentalists see that there is a great need of the hour to protect and preserve our ocean and the habitats in it so that's how with this the concept of hope uh, spot started okay so now let's see hope spot actually started with the formation of a mission blue an organization called mission blue okay in 2008 it is was founded by dr sylvia arley okay and Mission Blues uh, uh, is an organization which study about the uh, eco, uh, study about the ocean and its habitat. So most of its work is dedicated mostly to the ocean. So as a result, and and, and I think you you do you know that uh, twelve percent of the land area is protected, such as that as under national park, wildlife sanctuaries, biosphere reserve, etc. However, less than one percent of the ocean is protected. So therefore, with this, the uh, Mission Blue initiative came up with an objective that is to protect the health of the ocean and its habitat worldwide. But how can it achieve this? Uh, how can the uh, Mission Blue achieve this uh, uh, objective? And this can be achieved when they came up with an idea to establish what is known as the Marine Protected areas okay so what are these marine protected areas okay marine protected areas in ocean are exactly similar to that of the national parks on land okay if you remember in national parks no human activities are allowed isn't it so similarly even in the marine protected areas activities such as fishing extraction of natural resources 
uh, deep sea mining and even ocean dumping or uh, dumping of waste into the ocean are prohibited okay so these area are protected okay so these area are therefore protected from human activities so since um why they are protected because because they are there's the the the, the area possess or have a very diverse uh, uh, marine life form or species in it okay and you can imagine just by can visualize the life form uh, found in coral reefs isn't it how rich and diverse the uh, the, the the area is okay so you can assess those kind of areas you think of and in this area you'll find that uh, species which are very rare or endemic or threatened are also found in such area and in such uh, area you see that uh, since there's no activities, uh, human activities are allowed, you see that fish which have traveled for thousands of miles, you know, in the ocean will come to that area and start uh, spawning, okay? And also the area which have the potential to revive back and flourish again if they are after they've been damaged by humankind. So, you since this area, okay, under the ocean are ecologically rich and unique in their characteristics, therefore there is a need to protect this area as such area in the oceans are called the hope spot. okay so here see now hope spots are the protected in area in the ocean that why because they're protected because they have rich and unique biodiversity and including the habitat which are found is also diverse that's why they needed to be protected okay that's why now I hope it's clear what hope spots are. All right. So now why they are called hope spot? The term, as I said earlier, they are called hope spot as given. Uh, it was uh, you know given by uh, by uh, Doctor Early. So they are called hope spot because even though let's say the the uh, if you protect the ocean, okay, then there is a hope that the imperial state of the ocean to revive or restore back. That's why they are called hope spots okay now hope spot is actually over you know it's, it's, it's been overlooked or uh, it's taken care of by uh, the mission blue organization which was formed in 2008 and uh, initially there was just about 19 uh, marine protected areas however the, the 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 ocean protection which was initiated by the um, by the marine um, uh, mission blue uh, sorry by the mission blue organization what happened is to get started uh, recognition from the international agency or community around the world. Okay, so therefore now what happened during the during the third international marine protected area congress, which was held in Marseille in France, what happened now? Hope Sport Network, which is a collaborative association between the Mission Blue and the International Union for Conservation of uh, uh, Nature, what happened? They launched thirty one additional uh, hope spot across the world. So leading to the total number of there are about 50, um, uh, 50 hope spots in the world. Okay, so now with this, when this area has been declared as uh, in the ocean has been declared hope spot, so there is a hope that, you know, there's a hope that the oceans uh, and its habitat in it and ecosystem in it will be protected. Okay, so some of the few examples are uh, uh, hope spots around the world are listed here on the screen and i've listed only 10 there are 50 and such as sydney coast rose sea scott island tasman sea northwest passage and to name a few okay and there are uh, you know uh, 40 more in addition to this what i shown in the list all right so now a question comes is there any hope spots in india okay now, India is also is a very rich and diverse, uh, you know, a, a country in terms of uh, flora and fauna. So there's a hope, again, that India also will have, you know, hope spots. So during the, uh, during the Mission Blue uh, and uh, when Mission Blue and IUCN announced the 31 uh, hope, hope spots, uh, newly announced hope spots in the world, two of them actually are in India. Even India actually have uh, because of the you know the, the extremely rich uh, marine biodiversity and high endemism in it so 
two areas uh, in India have also been declared as hotspot, and these are the Andaman and Nicobar Island and the Lakshadweep Island. All right. So with this, uh, this is the reference that I use for this study, uh, for this uh, presentation. And with this, I'd like to say thank you, uh, thank you, thank you so much for listening. And I hope that you will be, uh, you will understand what hope hope spot is after watching this video. And thank you so much for your attention. And and I hope this video will be of great help to you all. Thank you so much, and God bless.